Good morning. I am here to unbox the X-Spec 60 quart camo cooler that I keep hearing good things about it, but there's no content on it. So let's make some content. Ooh, it looks good. Beautiful cooler. Nothing wrong with it in shipping. I love the camo on it. See, it's a 60 quart. It's got all these cool features. For a relatively inexpensive cooler, you get a badass product. You can see you got bottle opener on either side here. Your handle is connected by these two. Nice solid metal connection there. Yeah, it's all sewn together on the back. Good inch of sewing there to a metal buckle that holds it in place right there. Nice, nice solid construction. You have a rubber gasket going all the way around. I've heard a little bit of problems with the inside of this Boeing, but if that's your only issue, then this is still a good cooler. Up on top, for your fishing needs, you have a 22 inch, 22 inch ruler right on top, flat surface. Up here, you have a place for your name or a sticker or something. Do whatever you want. But I like how the surface on top is, it's gritty, it, it has some traction on it. This thing out here. Very sturdy cooler. No buckling on the, on the seat. More tie down latches here. You have a groove for your tie down. Very, very nice cooler. I'm excited to test this out. The rubber gooseneck to the plastic handle and it slides underneath, pops into place. One piece screw in drain, drain plug. Nice and tight there with the rubber gasket. Super easy to cut, get out, only a few twists. Easy to thread. Up here you have air valve release um, when you have everything in there you've traveled down the road you're about to get into your cooler for the first time you hit that button it just releases the air that's uh, that's inside your cooler causing a suction cup um, just helps you get into the cooler and then right above that is a compass overall I like the cooler I like the design of it I like all the features uh, I know I should have went with white. It um, it holds the the cold better. It allows for the ice to stay colder for longer. But I enjoy camo. I want to be able to take this thing out duck and goose hunting and sit on it if I need to, or somebody else can sit on it and not be a eyesore to the geese as they're coming in. So I went with the camo. I just enjoy camo better. Um, plus I'll always have it in the shade when I'm using it. I'm gonna be doing some tests outside in the sun, but other than that, I'll always have it in the shade. So that's just my opinion on it. I'm dirty. We got lots of stuff going on right now, <laughs> but great cooler. Let's get to the tests, the actual nuts and bolts. How does this cooler uh, work? It doesn't work well. How long does the ice hold in it? Um, I want to test it against a Yeti. I want to test it against a permafrost. These other coolers that are held to such high regard, this cooler, I believe, is going to hold up just as well. Um, we'll see. I guess we'll, we'll just see. So, so thank you for tuning in. Uh, my next video, I'm going to be putting out testing these coolers. Bye. He's not too impressed.